Hello and welcome, I am Arumba, thank you for joining me. Let's play some Crusade Kings 2 and go for this achievement as the, uh, the now king, King Lua the Holy, the kingdom of the kingdom of David. So, let's find a few dudes. I really want to become an emperor. I'm tired of being a non-emperor. I feel like if I was an emperor, a lot of things would be better. You know what, I don't really want to deal with this rebellion right now, so we're going to raise all the vassal level levies. We're gonna find some troops that are on the coast, and let's see, that is Elodia. Um, I suppose we could actually raise them here. Cairo. We're just gonna ferry some troops over very quickly that are not mine, so we don't even have to wait for the retinue. Is the the main idea here? Wow, nutrition really that low? Oh my gosh, only a hundred here. Got a break out of camp fever and the small box. That's not cool. Uh, that, that army is actually too large. Are there multiple in there? There may be. Actually, it might just be... I think it's just a singular liege le levy. No, it's not. Actually, nice. Uh, you can stand down then. The rest of you got one of the boats. Same thing here. Still, uh, without complaining too much, because I tend to do it a lot, I am still wishing that I could go back to the old method of playing where I could use the B key to send armies left and right. I don't understand it! Paradox, please! I mean, they added it into the base game of EU4. They did. It was good enough for that. It's not good enough for CK2, though. You gotta go and screw it all up. Alright, we'll grab, um... No. I remember, we're playing on Iron Man mode. It's very dangerous here to accidentally disband the entire thing. People are hiding because they're afraid of the things. By the way, I'm super, super excited because it is um, December the 20th, as of the date of this recording. And uh, I just got an email this morning from Asus. My graphics card is in the mail. They're returning my card. Thank God. The end is nigh. The end of this uh, full screen mode nonsense. I'll be able to play without full screen mode, finally. I can use borderless windowed and use calculators and spreadsheets and stuff and good things and things. And also, even though you might not feel it, maybe the recording comes through just fine, but I swear it's possibly all in my head, but it, the game runs not as well as it could. So, cannot wait to go back to having a better card. Shall we lead? I think not. We're not very good at combat. Um, just, just pick some people, whatever. How many more men are on these boats? Another 900, another 300, let's just wait. Uh, well, actually, we've got, looks like five ticks. Yeah, we have time. We can wait. Hopefully I didn't time that incorrectly. It looks like we're still okay. These guys can stand down. Now one thing I gotta take care of here is I think we just ended this, this holy war here for this territory up here. Hey, look at that! We got boats on the other side! Nice! We can go invade people. It's gonna be glorious. We're over the domain limits we have to take care of. We've got multiple holdings up here. We've got Ascalon, Darum, and Beersheb. Who better to hold this land than someone of our dynasty? Let's use the find character interface. We'll say search the realm for men. We'll search for... There's Notice how there's no filter for like my dynasty. Oh, no, there is. Never mind. I'm crazy. I knew that. I'm sorry. Derp. They hid it under Great House. I was going to type Gideon like I have to do for the uh, elective succession. So we've got a 56-year-old Gideon, Gideon named Sisse. We've got a, uh, a sympathy for Islam, a Muslim lover, Ogbai, the marshal. Got a brawny 57 year old. Still wish you could do uh, age filters. Doesn't seem like a, too much to ask, really, that you could just have like a minimum, maximum. But hey, you know, whatever. I gotta get off my complaining horse. It's too early for that. You know what? Let's just give it all to my heir. We'll, we'll let him deal with it for now. And uh, when we play as him, we can dole it out to other characters and get some bonus opinion with them. Sounds fine. I mean,. We worked hard earlier on in the campaign. Oh my god, I'm suffering attrition in my own lands? That's horrible. No. Stop that. Oh my god, it's painful. Um, we worked hard earlier to make sure that there was no count. Oh, seriously? How did you s- Oh god damn. They should not maintain the siege while there was a battle. Um. Surely someone could smuggle some food in while the battle rages and they're distracted. Oh well. As I was saying, we worked hard to get rid of the council, so or never or to never have a council in the first place. So that means that we should take advantage of the fact that we can give land to whoever the hell we want. 
We have just inherited the Duchy of Khorasan and other titles from Duke Azmera of Khorasan. Of the previously Zan dynasty, which is apparently extinct. Okay, he used to own all this stuff up here. He gave us a retinue. Light, light infantry retinue, very nice, appreciate that. Nice, gen generous donation. Okay, um... Let's see. My son already owns land up here adjacent to it. I was thinking I didn't want to overload him, but I mean, if he already owns the land adjacent to it, then I'm willing to give him just another duchy as well. It's fine. Your loyal vassal has sent you a courier with an offer. He's willing to take a make a significant donation to your war chest, but in return you must promise to return the favor in the future. He's just a count. He is directly beneath me. He has a barony beneath him as well. This is part of the Duchy of Sanaa, which I own directly. You're not on the council. The cost to buy a favor from you is very expensive. I wish there was some sort of calculation for why it's so damn high, but uh, I'm going to say yes, only because he's just a count. And I don't expect that he's going to be able to make good on it and do anything. He might try to like force his way onto the council, but even if he does that, he'll lose the favor, so he can't actually vote for a... Uh, Plus, he's, he's a homosexual. No one likes him. We could kill him. And he's not of our dynasty. We might as well. I mean, that's what you get. That is what you get for donating money to me. You should not do that. Silly thing to do. So, yeah. What are we doing on our uh, cap? We're at our cap still. Okay. I suppose we'll uh, grab that retinue then and march it all the way over here. It's going to be a long walk, but they'll make it eventually. We have dangerous factions. I've been pissing people off for a while. Pray to God that my son recovers. Let's hire a new chancellor. We'll hire that guy. Uh, after being skillfully treated by my court physician, Khalil, my son is feeling much better. I shall praise them. Good job. We have a young son here. It's a, it's a 16 year old Ebeba. My own. Oh, that's Ebeba! Oh, God, I forgot all about her. I'm so excited. Special interest, no character. That's, uh. It's interesting. Can I, can, I remove the, can I remove the special interest no character from the, the thing? No? No. Yeah, it's just permanent. Whatever this is, I don't want it. I want, I want Abeba to marry a, a good man. And I want to make her eligible to, to inherit somehow. Um, also, I gotta admit, I'm really getting sad that I have not yet had an immortal character. I keep reading about it on the Crusader Kings 2 subreddit. People get it, like, multiple times per campaign. Some people only get it, like, once every 400 years of campaign. I've never had it, ever, that I remember. Maybe I'm just not playing through the event's decisions properly or something, but I don't... Uh... I don't remember ever seeing it. So really, the only one that I can really pair well with her would be Strong, but... You know, I think we can afford to wait a few years to get a, a good Genius Strong pairing. It seems fine. How's the defensive pack look? Got some uh, camp fever, smallpox consumption. The defensive pact is shortcut key J. Yeah, it's, it's sort of big. It's not small. May you live in harmony and contentment. I request that you repay the favor you owe me by declaring the du jour claim on Sibi against Shah Jahangir of the Shay Banid Shadam. Decline my rightful request, I will make the council, make sure the council hears of it. You want me to attack Shah Jahanagir in the du jour claim on Sibba. Sib Sibba? Sibi. Sibi. So it's a county, the chief chiefdom of Sibi. Keep pressing the F key, because that's what find is in the other game. Sibi. Proclaim on Sibi. Alright, let's do this. You live here. Is your claim on Sibi? This guy is the target. The du jour claim on Sibi. Du jour. It's either a kingdom claim or a county level claim. It's or like a, a duchy claim. It's, that's what it's got to be. 
That, that province over there. Okay, but this guy's in a pact. Do you not realize that he's in a massive pact against me and you're forcing me to go to war with this massive pact? Are you seriously that dense? That's great. So you want me to fight all of the green stuff. Turns out that these favors are not worthwhile. Um... Okay, fine, whatever. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, let's see if that actually triggers the, uh, yep, did, yep. Yeah, I figured it would, but... Okay, what is this? <laughs> what is this? What is this thing? So, it's the army I just raised, derp. Okay, we don't need those boats. Uh, these armies are probably safe if I just have the boats meet them. So it's going to take a little bit of effort now again to rally together the army. Which is the main reason why I want to get uh, to the Empire tier, because I don't want to have to do this anymore. If I had kingdom level vassals, I could just make the whole thing a lot easier for myself. By instantly raising... Why do you have no ship... Like, you have no castle shipyard. What is wrong with you? Somebody in this province needs to build a shipyard, darn it. I'm tired of having to do this. Um, yeah, everyone under the boats. All these fellows can head over to somewhere over there. You guys can head over to here. Let's grab all the boats in this area to, like, here. Force. Keep running into this issue where I don't have enough boats for all the men, which is horrible. Okay, control sh shift alt. Grab all these guys. Let's go up to here. We'll grab this army over to here. These guys down to here. These guys over to here. Except for you, it's gonna go to there. These boats over here can go to there. Okay, a little bit of Christmas music. Okay, fair enough. Let's uh, we'll go to play in speed three. This is gonna be a pretty massive war. I, f I feel like it's gonna be a, a little bit challenging. Do Kiffle the Fat. Uh, note to self: never, ever, 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 ever use favors again, ever. Just never do it. We have a weak boy. Let's give him the strap. See if we can beat it out of him. Uh, just never do it. Just never, ever, ever do it. I every time I, f I feel like you know what I could I could yeah I could use the favor system and, and not have horrible things happen to me. No, that's not true at all. Uh, let's see. Load those guys up and send them over to our capital for now. Although there was some disease over here. I'm a little bit worried about supply. So, yeah, we ferry the majority of the army over near the war goal, and once they are there, I th think we just kind of concentrate our forces in some defensive terrain and sit on the war goal. And that's really all we're going to do. Unfortunately, the war leader himself owns land in this area, so it's going to be difficult to actually siege down his direct holdings and make him not want to be in the war, but it could be done. Now, this is a battle I'll take for sure. Let's grab our 17s. Let's check to see that we've got enough commanders. We have two slots available. We've got uh, Berhanwa. How did you stop being a commander at some point? I'm not sure. My son has excellent stewardship. Nice job, son. You are pretty bad. Everyone else is pretty bad. I've been granting a lot of land to the son recently instead of granting it to, uh, uh, granting land to potential commanders and stuff. So right now my heir has, uh, only 600 prestige. Let's grant him a commander slot temporarily, even though we don't want to have him lead troops. 
just so that he can gain some more monthly prestige from being a commander of the Kingdom of David, 1.5 per month. Not bad, that'll help him get up to 2,000 so that his inheritance will go smoothly. That's the hope anyway. Something about a defensive pack that doesn't involve me. This army is heading to Gizeh. We will chase it, smash it, get some more war score. This army is going to come down to here. I'll admit, um, I will admit, I hate to admit it, but I will admit it. Uh, some of the sort of by rote um, experience in this game is coming back to me now, like where I'm feeling kind of like, okay, well, you know, TK2 is kind of giving me all it can offer is, is starting to come back. Because uh, once you get to this point, like, you, can't you just sort of feel it? Can't you feel the difference in the campaign from now versus earlier? Like, right this second, I don't even really... F we were just forced to declare war on basically the entirety of Sunni. And, and I don't even feel that... Like, I don't care. It's fine. Why is that... Why should that concern me, basically? And, and that's a bad feeling, because... That just means... The game's kind of easy. Still. And that this is after they made it harder. Isn't that kind of nuts? Yes. Say yes, yes it is. Just agree with me. When in doubt, agree with me. I pray to God that he will recover. We have a kid that needs an education. It's another genius, a six-year-old, not bad. Uh, she'll have the thrift. Of course, there is something to be said for, for me being the one that makes things this way. Supply here is 12k, so let's not march the entire army there. Let's pull, yeah, just take this army. Secondary commanders, so 17, 17, 17. We'll take the not sun plus you, plus uh, apparently me, up to there. These other armies can reinforce the province adjacent. We'll take these ships, disband, don't need them. A little bit of Christmas music's okay. We have a revolt for, uh, somewhere, not my problem apparently. It's sizable revolt within this region. Okay, fair enough. This army is definitely large enough to fight that. Let's, uh... Let's do this, though. We'll dock up for a second, pick up the leaders. We will... Let's do it the easy way. Split, click, split, click. Deselect the bottom, grab, merge. They fit. Go. Check leaders. Uh, we want the... You know what? I just appointed... You. Where are you? Action leader of increased council power. Defending in Kuffa. You are not showing up on my list of eligible leaders, and yet I need you. Hmm. I feel like we lost one of my, my 17s. We did. Poor physician Kilil has completely botched the treatment of my son's disease. Uh... Okay. Only because I want to try to hire, like, some witch or something. Is my plan. Well, I do think that picking off small armies nearby is a good idea. So, let's do that a little bit more. Let's grab these guys under these boats. We're gonna send these guys over to that 9 stack. There's no one down here in the south anymore. And we have... Enough of an army here for sure. We can be there by the 1st of February. Convenient. Okay, let's grab the better commanders again over here then. And... Fight that army. He may reinforce, may not. Not sure for sure. Not sure for sure. Uh, I'm not gonna go for her. Well, he is sieging it. Let's go, let's go beat him up. Okay, a messenger brings you word from Tukot. One of the rabbis residing there is willing to serve as your personal physician. A rabbi. Okay, and he is, uh, he's possessed. Perfect! What's the worst that could happen? I like possessed bad guys. Possessed bad guys. No, he's not a bad guy, he's just a rabbi. Excuse me. The son was born to Princess Abeba. She's not married yet. Hmm. And she named her son Abeb Bey. I like her. <laughs> she, 
<laughs> she's got she's got spunk is what she's got. Who did she make this baby with is what I want to know. You know what? It's probably another spawn of Satan, honestly. I mean, she doesn't have to have a, a lover to make babies, right? She's just she just uses she's like an an, an what are they called? An aphid, right? They just bud off of her. Or like um what was her name in uh, Star Trek Voyager? Kess. Yeah, you know they like they they just grow in a sack uh, out of her back. That's how it happens. Of course, she didn't do it. Uh, asexually, she did have someone to help facilitate that. Um, but still, at age zero, Berhan Gideon died of the smallpox. Well, he was a weak thing, so no one's honestly surprised, are they? Yeah, we'll chase that army down again, then return. We'll take the war goal. We're gonna go fight his primary army soon. The actual war leader himself has only 245 men. His personal holdings are currently occupied. Fully by somebody else. I guess I'm just gonna siege down this area here, the Saramsa hits. Anything we can do to weaken the Saramsa hits seems like a good thing. But for now, I am going to take a break, and I will be back in the next episode. So, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.